Latina Warthog Princess and welcome back. This is part two of a three-part series on packing for my trip to Orlando next week. It will be a short trip, four days, three nights. We are going to Universal one day, um, meeting up with some family and their other in-laws. So anyway, uh, it's going to be a fun trip, but I'm bringing some extra stuff because I have some gifts for them and I wanted to utilize as many things as I could for my collection because I've just been collecting this last year with COVID and everything and I haven't really had a chance to use anything so I'm going a little bit crazy with it and it's kind of fun but it is really hard to plan. So here goes part two is the in and around stuff. So part one we covered getting there and back. Here we go. First thing I decided was I needed an anchor piece like something to plan the rest of it around. So that kind of had to be the backpack for the day at the park or the backpack just for whatever. Hi Kelly, come on. No? Okay, go lay down. <laughs> um, anyway, so I have two, three, five large backpacks to pick from and these are in the large, extra large category. Um, the first one I can choose is the Vera Bradley Campus Backpack in Harry Potter Home to Hogwarts. I do like this pattern. I really love all the hidden things in it. And they're hidden in plain sight. I mean, they're not like truly hidden, but you have all the house colors. You have the house, the Hogwarts crest. You've got all the little bits, you know, we've got glasses, golden snitch, Hedwig, uh, sorting hat, you know, remember alls and time turners and yeah, so many things. You've got the lightning bolt, quills, you know, it goes on and on. So this is great. I really like the trim accents with the striped and the zipper pulls as well. So if you're watching some of my other Vera videos when I was doing the, the Harry Potter hauls, I'll put both of them back to back here for you. But this is what I was talking about with the striped pulls because I, I just think that's a nice touch. It distinguishes the Harry Potter piece for sure. Anyways, um, we're not going to use this because it is still COVID times and it is spring in Florida. So there could be rain and whatnot. And this is cotton. It is washable, that's fine, but cotton is just asking for it right now. So I have decided this is not the runner up or the first one at all. So we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna look at the other option. So the next option in no particular order is, and then all four of these are Jujube with the completely waterproof, machine washable, everything wipeable. Um, this one is Hogwarts Essentials. It, and again, these are everything in here is Harry Potter, so yeah. But this is the Be Right Back or the BRB backpack. It is a great backpack. I have not used it yet. You can tell everything still has plastic on it. Um, it has this nice carry handle on top, these nice ergonomic padded and meshed straps with a meshed back with a quilting, so you get some breathability there. Really great, great option. I'm not very fond of these slip loop um, backpack adjustments because they tend to auto loosen with like motion or whatever they just loosen there is a, a fitting piece that I can put on there to prevent them I just haven't fitted any of my backpacks with them because I have so many and I don't have enough of those slips for all of them so I put them on as needed the other option is you can install a snap on the end tab and you know once you have the known adjustment for you but that means you can only use that one adjustment so not my preference for this type of bag. I will put a video here though for what I did do that for my mini bees and it did work great for that to keep them from auto loosening. All right, so enough about that, but it does have great adjustability. It fits really nicely, really generous pockets on the side. They do have this little elastic here, so it gives it some extra stretch, um, but holds things nice and tight as well. On the front, you have a flap snap pocket right there. You have a clear ID window here on the top of it. And then it's just a gusseted pocket. So great for little pouches or maybe um, sunglasses can go in there, things like that, the quick access, you know, inside. Also, you can see the interior pattern. It is definitely a Gryffindor colors and whatnot. Um, and again, you have a lot of the symbology from the Harry Potter, Harry Potter series. The next pocket is right behind that. It's a double zipper. This is your mommy pocket as they call it. And if you open that up, it is gusseted on the side, which I like. So it's not just gonna fall open, but it, it's very, very accessible. Inside here, you have your sunglass pouch or glasses pouch. You don't have to use it for that, but it does work very nicely for that. 
you have a key bungee with a clip on the end you have a pocket here and this is like a plasticized interior so that's going to be waterproof whatnot down below you have a mesh elastic there as well so you can put pouches inside outside or just loose items in there however you desire this pocket does have some nice gusset to it about two fingers width with a little extra so it's it's got quite a bit of room inside there right above that you have this zipper pocket straight across and this one is soft lined so it's like your tech pocket it goes down to about right there and about the width of the zipper so that's nice as well um, right behind that you have the main pocket we'll come to that uh, now so we have double zipper there also but this one zips all the way down both sides to the very very bottom it is not gusseted so this opens all the way out to lay flat that is great if you're trying to get into this mesh zipper pocket on the front great for other reasons but personally I tend to just access things you know from the top of the bag is what I'm used to so I, I don't need or prefer that function. I'd rather it have a large gusset like that front pocket did so that I can access it from a standing up position, let it open, but have that gusset there to kind of hold it from doing that. That's just my preference, but you can install gussets, have that custom done for yourself. I just haven't done it and I don't think I will. I probably will just not zip it down all the way and sort of by, by virtue of that, give myself a pseudo gusset capability. But this has this front mesh pocket that zips down the middle inside there. I just have the changing pad, which is like that memory foam changing pad, which I won't need, but may take anyways, whichever bag I take, because it's, it's great for other things like a picnic mat or sitting on a wet bench or whatever, you know, lots of things. Um, but inside the bag, you have a nice big mesh elastic pocket. And then you have these two elastics to hold something up there if you want, or you can hang things off of it. And this piece right here is actually this next pocket, which zips across the top. Oh, on a zipper pull. Where's the zipper pull? It's on this side. Single zipper pull up and across. And this is a pocket right there that you can see that's my hand inside. So any quick access items right there on the top, quick and easy and they don't get lost and buried in the bag, which is great. Um, but yeah, these pockets and pouches and space are great for all the pouches like the B set and be quick and be cool and all the other jujube accessories. Okay, there is one other pocket on this bag and that is back here. It's straight down the side. This is your padded tech compartment. So you can put an iPad, a laptop, or the changing pad or whatever else you want back there. But it is relatively flat, but it is padded as well. So that's the BRB. Now we're not gonna go into every single item to that degree, but since this is our centerpiece of what we're gonna be packing, kind of important to know what we're packing into. That is option two of five. Option three, four, and five are all zealous backpacks, all Harry Potter. The first one is the Honey Dukes, which is very pink. This is not my first choice. One, because it's very pink and I love it. I love the pink and, and the, the teal or mint green or whatever together. It's, it's great. It's just not my first choice and it's light colored. And that is always a little bit nerve wracking for me because even though it's wipeable and washable and stain resistant, I have dark ones. So it's, it's just not the first choice. That being said, I'm also going to kind of hold this back in reserve because I have nieces and great nieces that I may want to save this for them for a school backpack later. So for now, this is not going to make the cut, but let's use it to go through the backpack function and features. So right on the front, you have a zipper pocket straight across. It's very accessible. You can see that light colored striped interior, very fun pink and green. And then it doesn't have a lot of gusset to it, but it does have space and accessibility. Right behind that, you have a double zipper. They happen to be both to one side right now. The double zipper up and around. This is your mommy pocket once again. And these zipper pulls actually are kind of cool. They're chocolate frogs. You can kind of see the blue enamel in there. Um, in this pocket, you have a key bungee with a clip and you have a privacy pocket. Privacy pocket goes pretty much to the bottom of the bag. 
You have two gusseted slips right here. These are the perfect size for small set pieces. And then this pocket does, of course, have this amount of space to it. So it has its own space separate from the main bag. So we'll zip that up. Then you have the main pocket. So in comparison, this bag is a little bit more simple than the BRB, but it actually, I think, they have comparable capacities. I personally think this one holds a little more because it's not as compartmentalized. It's more open layout, so it just gives you a little bit more flexibility on how you pack and stack it. Uh, but okay, so again, double zipper. This one, just like the BRB, zips all the way to the bottom on both sides. And the difference is this one has a gusset built in and ready to go. So this is what I was talking about on the BRB. I prefer it to do this, which is the other reason that I would prefer the Zealous in this case for this trip. Um, okay, but here we go. On the front, there are two mesh elastic pockets on the front. There are also two on the back. Behind that, you have a solid pocket, which is, again, it's not plasticized in this case, but you know, it's that same waterproof material there. And then you have the changing pad, which can be moved or taken out. This one is a mat, not a pad. It's just the material both sides. And then you have that same pocket like you had on the BRB with the straps on the front and access from the top to get into it. However, in this case, this one is soft line. The other one is not. Okay, so that's the inside of the bag. On the sides, you have the same, you know, big cargo pockets. This one does not have that extra elastic, but the pocket itself is elasticized. Same on both sides. Other difference, the carrying handle on this one is a woven strap, like a seatbelt material. Pretty pink and green and white, but still. Another, I would say, lesser characteristic in comparison with the BRB, this one does not have mesh on the back of the backpack. So it's gonna make you sweat a lot more because that back of the backpack is not very breathable. It's not padded. It's just gonna make you sweat on your back. The straps are padded and meshed. Um, so not so bad on the front part, but yeah, my back is gonna be super sweaty. That's okay. Has the same issue with the straps that was on the other one, except this one happens to be the woven strap instead of the regular material like this. So. That is all of that. This bag, um, actually both of these bags do come also with loops on the sides. So if you wanted to hang it with stroller straps or with a crossbody strap, you could do that. Although for me, it's a backpack. I can't be bothered and I don't have a stroller. So no need for that for me. The next one is the same, it's a Zealous. And this one is platform nine and three quarters. You can see on the zipper pull there, platform nine and three quarters. And you also have the Hedwig zipper pulls as well. So kind of a mix. Um, the Harry Potter zipper pulls are not interchangeable like the Tokidoki ones. However, a little birdie has said they may be coming with those in the future to have some interchangeability with them. So I'm really excited about that to see what the options might be in the future. You can, of course, you know, manually, you know, kind of break that loop open and swap them out if you wanted. Not really my plan, but there you go. The interior of this one, just so you can see, is a tan, sort of yellow tan gold brick bricks with a bunch of like symbols and whatnot. It's got the luggage car, it's got platform nine and three quarters, has the daily profit. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> but the layout's the same. Okay. So that is that one. And by the way, I think that's our forefront, our, our number one pick. It's between that one and this one. This is the fifth and final backpack that we're choosing from. This one has a slightly different handle. It's a little bit older version. Has a seatbelt nylon strap here and then it has a wrapped material over the top with a little bit of padding to it. That's actually kind of a nice grab. Um, same layout, same basic things. It has a sort of a brushed brass sort of look to the hardware. And these are Harry Potter and, well those are both Harry Potter, but then you have Ron Weasley on there. 
for the other zipper pull. But this one is Cheering Charms. So you got all your little, I call them bobbleheads. They're not actually bobbleheads, but yeah, like your pop looking figures on there for all the different main characters. Luna Lovegood, Harry, Hermione, Ron, Dumbledore, Snape, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Fred and George. Yeah, it's just really fun. I like this a lot. I like this dark background with bright colors on it. That's right up my alley for sure. But interior of this one is Gryffindor stripes. <laughs> also on partial two because I am a Gryffindor. Shocker. Okay, so let's go with this one as the primary and Cheering Charms as the backup. And I say that so that when we go through some of these other things, we will kind of see how they match or don't match. Not that everything needs to, but here we go. So, I've got the, the luggage to get me to and from. The backpack will be packed inside one of the luggages and carried to the parks. And then once I get there, it'll be my in and around bag for the four days. But I need a purse and I need a wallet. So that's two main things that are gonna come of this and the rest is just organizational pieces with a lot of options. <laughs> okay. First thing, purse-wise, what's a lightweight purse option that will be small and portable but accommodate the things I might want to carry? The petite backpack might just be the perfect answer, and it just so happens I have four different ones to choose from. Now, um, I do want to kind of do a mixy-matchy thing with the primary piece, but I also want to kind of bring a little bit of each of the Harry Potter patterns with me. So I'm just gonna have some fun with it, bear with me. <laughs> so we have the petite in the um, Hogwarts Essentials. We have the flying keys, which we haven't seen yet. Again, I started into Jujube back in only in September. So a lot of these things I had to reach back for, but we're already like sold out. So I have limited accessibility to some of the older things, but I have pieces in all of the patterns, which I'm really happy with. And this is a great one for sure. So I'll set this aside because that might be an option for purse. And then I have, of course, Honey Dukes and Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Since I'm taking the big bag in this pattern, I'm going to say no. Same argument about it being light here and reserved for my niece. This is a great option. But we don't have anything in Flying Keys. And it's a closer match to that. So we'll just for a moment put these aside as well. Yeah. Another option, I have the grab and go in the flying keys also, but this is much bigger bag that I don't really want to carry around as a purse. I could, I have many times in the past. In fact, it was a primary for a while um, when I was in the military, different one, but same style. Um, but this one is a great layout and it has big pockets. You know, I could put my snack tower in one and the giant water bottle in the other. This could be a great park bag, a day trip bag. This would be probably the ideal choice in this case because it's thin, you know, very thin, lightweight, portable. If I packed just this, I could save a lot of space. I could still have internal organization, but we're not doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the big one and I'll probably end up carrying everybody's crap in my backpack and that's fine. Okay, so that leads us to what do we need to bring into the park? Well, probably layers of some kind, maybe uh, like a rain slick layer, an umbrella, something of that nature, a poncho maybe. Um, I'm gonna need something to snack on to maintain, you know, cause I have diabetes. So just to make sure if I ever had a high or low, I could take care of that. Um, but I also need water for sure. And so just having some kind of snacky stuff that's healthy and also could stick to my diet that I'm trying to stick to. So I'm gonna wanna bring some kind of an insulated pouch. I talked about it when I did part one um, to have a couple different options. One of the options I could use is the fuel cell, which is a GGB item. This was in Duchess. I do not have any in Harry Potter um, at all. Actually, I only have a couple of these. I had to think about that for a sec. I do have one in Disney, but anyways, so this is one option. I'm gonna say no to this straight away though because it doesn't match anything I have here. Um, and I have other options. But let's look at a few other things. Let me leave that one for a sec. This is a roundabout from Lug. This one is in Peacock, Peacock Multi, in fact. But 
The reason I grabbed this is because this could be a wallet option, right? It's, it's kind of a big wallet, but you can grab it out, have it be a crossbody, it could be a belt bag, it could be a wristlet. You know, we could use it so many different ways or just as an organizational piece. But look at the colors. It matches quite nicely with this bag. I like that a lot, actually. So I'm just gonna set it aside in the maybe pile for now. And let's move on. Next is Vera Bradley Lunch Bunch in the Kerala Elephants. This is a Dillard's exclusive pattern. But look at the colors, the blues and teals and pinks, which again, matches very nicely, or not matches, but coordinates quite nicely. This is insulated, so it could function as a nice insulated pouch for this purpose. However, once again, it is cotton, and not that that's gonna be too bad because it'll be inside the bag and well protected, but mm, I'm gonna say no, because we have other options. Okay, next up, let's talk pouches and such have a lot of them so let me just kind of get them together here we have pouches from love vera kipling jujube and other random assorted ones that i've bought from amazon and they're all again harry potter and i have, <laughs> I have okay we're, i'm pulling out a lot of other stuff that we're going to go through as well but let's talk pouches. Oh my goodness, so many pouches. Okay. No particular order. They're all kind of stacked up here. First, let's talk Vera Bradley. This one is, it's actually a belt bag, reactive in the Herbology Ditzy pattern, which is a recent thing. I took the belt off, because for sure I'm not using the belt. But I might use these pouches. Also, the colors on these do kind of go. It's, a, it's close enough for coordination. But they're, they're waterproof. They're you know lightweight. They have some internal organization on them or multiple pockets. So they might work out quite nicely. So I'm gonna say maybe. Then we have the cell phone crossbody which is in the home to Hogwarts pattern. I don't really have a need for this. I was kind of thinking though, this might be a great option to not use so much as a little cell phone crossbody or thing like that, but actually as a sunglass case, because it is padded, you know, it's quilted and it totally matches stuff. So I thought about that, but we're not doing it because I have another option. I have my Home to Hogwarts umbrella, which is a definite go. So we'll put that over here. I have the um, Mandrake Cosmetic in the Herbology pattern from Vera Bradley. This one is not going, so we'll make that the no pile. All right, this one is a Harry Potter pencil case. Pyramid, the art group, uh, whatever. Okay, but it's the Hogwarts letter. So you have the seal on the back, which is like a raised, sort of like a wax seal. And then you have the address on the front. It's a triangular shaped pouch. This is what I've been storing my bag charms in. I have a couple different ones, but that's one of them. Then I have this other one. This is from Amazon again. Also pyramid. So these are like a vinyl-ish thing. They're not super fancy. They're just not lined or anything. Oops, there's a pin. Uh, but this one's a round pencil case. So it has that on the end and then just the crests on it for each of the houses and the school so that's not going i've been using it to hold bag charms the all-in-one crossbody wristlet from vera bradley in the home to hogwarts this is planned to be my primary wallet so that is a go because i can grab it and go out of the big bag or i can put it in the bag and it'll match close enough I also have the deluxe zip ID in the Herbology Ditzy. So it has all these extra space and pockets. I might bring this, I'm gonna say yes for now as a maybe, because we're gonna need a lanyard and a zip ID to carry our park pass around in. Um, and my pass will be good for until the end of the year, unlimited use, so I'm really excited about that. So I'll just need to hang on to it and put it in something protective. 
This is a Kipling mini creativity pouch. It has one zipper, but two sides to it. And then you do also have that middle space that you can put things. So it's actually three pockets. It does match color wise, you know, with the teal, but I'm gonna say no because I have zip IDs. And speaking of, here they are. I have the Home to Hogwarts one, which would be the best match for the bag. And I have the matching lanyard. So I'm gonna say the light colored one is out. This one is now primary. I do have also the black corduroy one for the Hogwarts. It's got the crest and the stripey thing. I did not buy the matching lanyard, but I did buy, okay, this is all tangled up, but I did buy the Gryffindor lanyard on there. So the zip ID is out, but the Gryffindor lanyard, yeah, because I'm a Gryffindor. That might work as well. Um, I did buy the Gryffindor zip ID and lanyard that has just like the little bits and whatnot. Each of the houses did have their own and they had the, the respective colors. Um, but look at the zip um, zipper pulls. It's these ribbons that are yellow and red. So I thought this zip ID, even though this lanyard matches, I think this lanyard would be better. So use the Gryffindor lanyard with that like that. I think that's gonna be better. So I'll have to reshuffle and take that off, but that's what I'm gonna do with that, which means that this one is out. Thanks for playing. But I do have the Flying Keys coin purse. It's the only Harry Potter coin purse I have from GGB. This might be a great option, especially because it goes so well with the um, petite backpack if I go that away. So for now, it's gonna go as a maybe. Then we get into more pouches. These are, um, oh, I've forgotten what these are, bumpkins. So these are like reusable sandwich bags or snack bags and things. This one is a Gryffindor, obviously, uh, but a great size. So this would fit a full sandwich if I chose to take a sandwich in there. But since I'm doing keto, no bread, not gonna do it. I'll put something else inside of here. Um, and then I have two smaller snack bags, also Gryffindor. So these will be accessory pouches. On my other video, I talked about the Vera Bradley pencil pouch trios being super thin and lightweight and whatnot. These I would love for the same exact reason. They're super thin, very usable, and very lightweight. So great option to have on travels. So I'm gonna say these are in. Then I also have the bigger bags. These are wet dry bags. So I have this one with the golden snitch, and I have this one in gold. So there you go. Um, I don't necessarily think I need both of them, but I could use small bags inside a big bag. Um, yeah, I could put wet clothes in there. I could put clothes in there to keep them dry when I go on other rides, uh, you know, lots of options. So for now, yes. This is a custom pouch. Uh, I can't remember the name of who made it for me, but there's a video about it on my channel. You can look for it. But it's, it's really cool Gryffindor, and it came with some bag charms on it. I took them off, put them in a pile of bag charms. But it's very simple. Oh, wait, here you go. Sweet Life Stitchery, which is a great job. I really like this little pouch. But um, I'm gonna say no, because we have so many pouches, and we haven't even gotten to the B sets yet. I've got the denim pouch. I got this from Amazon. It is true denim. It's a very nice pouch. It's got the patches all on there, very, very, lovely i really like this one a lot but um i think oh and by the way the lightning bolt is metallic but it's you know you can't like pull it off but i think i'm gonna say no because i have some lighter weight options and we can't take everything <laughs> it's just not possible so um, oh but that does match the flying no okay no no we also have this one it's sort of a canvas pouch also from amazon this is not exactly what I thought it was when I was ordering it, but look how super lightweight and flimsy and easy that is. And because of that, I'm gonna just put it as a maybe because I'm going for the lightest weight, thin options. I have this other one. This one is from Warner Brothers Wizarding World. It's the letter, again, the Hogwarts letter. The seal on this one is the zipper pull, so slightly different. I'm gonna say no, but great pouch. Then I have this one, which is really kind of cool. This one is also from Amazon. Bio World is what it says on the 
tag. But it has a little handle, so you can hold it like here. It looks like their little suitcase. It has its own little luggage tag, which is really cool. Platform nine and three quarters on there. On the back, it has a slip, so you can put your phone in there. You can put other tech or something else, or your book maybe might fit in there. And then it opens up, double zipper, and it has two elastic mesh pockets here. It has a little hanger, so you can hang things, you know, hang it up this way. It doesn't have any pocket or anything on this side, interestingly enough but you can put things inside of it overall. But it's kind of big, kind of bulky, a little bit heavy for the size that it is. So I'm gonna say no, we have some really great options. This is the lug insulated pouch that I was talking about. This one is in River Walk, I think, or painted something. No, I think it's River Walk. But it has the teal, gray, tan, and sort of an off-white. But the inside is totally insulated. I just really like the size and, and capacity of this one. I don't need a huge thing, but I think I'm gonna go with this as an insulated pouch because it is so wipeable um, over the fuel cell and over some of the other options. So that, even though it doesn't match, I mean the teal I guess kind of, but it doesn't really. Okay, so let's take a tiny time out from pouches and whatnot and look at some other options because I, all of these bags have the side thing, so we put a water in one, possibly put a snack tower in the other. I'm gonna have my three-year-old nephew with us, so you know you gotta have stuff to entertain them as well. So I have these Whiskware snack towers, which I use at home all the time. They're great, because you can put things in there that are soft and squishy and it'll protect them from getting squashed. Um, it definitely keeps them organized. You can portion them out ahead of time so that you know exactly you know, if I just eat this one, I'm getting exactly what I want out of it. You can do it for kids, but guess what? It works just as well for adults also. Um, so you have that. I've got the Harry Potter and Hermione ones, which are kind of opposite colored. Um, but they don't match anything. That's okay. But I also have Dumbledore, who happens to be purple, which is my favorite color. And I don't need to take all three. So let's say we're going to take purple. And that's, I'm happy with that. It has Hedwig and Dumbledore on there. And then on the front, it says just Harry Potter and purple. So then which water bottle am I going to bring? I have two options, both of which match this. Obviously, my favorite color is purple. So that would be my first choice. But the way that the lid is, you know, I'm going to put ice in it because it's going to be hot. And I sweat a lot. So you're going to constantly be fighting the ice as you're trying to drink it. This I know from previous experience. So I'm gonna go with the gray one. And the reason is I can open it, it's got a nice wide mouth, so I can get the ice in there, put the water in there, um, and then close it. But then when I wanna go drink it, I can op open the smaller one. So I'm just gonna get the water and not all those big chunks of ice in my face. So that is that. Plus then I can also hang it on my bag or tether it to my bag so that if it ever fell out of the pocket, I wouldn't lose it or ding it up or whatever. So this is just a thermo flask. I think it's from Costco. There you go. So match is good enough for me. We'll call that a yes. I'll just put it over here with everything. Okay, let's go to bag charms next. I have just a few. <laughs> yeah, more than a few. Okay, so the first one is a key fob and bag charms that came with that custom Harry Potter pouch. And I'm gonna make each of these into their individual keychain bag charm things. I haven't done the work on that yet, but that is that. This one does have flying keys on it. And I might, I don't know, it's kind of bulky. I think this one's gonna stay at home. So let's put them back in the bag charm bag. Um, this next one is, it's, it's actually Ronald Weasley. I thought it was Hermione at first, but actually it's Ronald Weasley. And it's a stuffy, so really cute, um, super fun, but it's kind of bulky. And it's not fragile per se, but it, yeah, a lot of potential to get damaged on park day, so that's a no. The next four are from Vera Bradley, actually. So this first one, okay, it's not Harry Potter, to be clear. It's Holiday Owls. But I kind of was looking at it and thinking it kind of is Hedwig-like. 
And there are other owls in Harry Potter, so owls are definitely associated. It is dark colored, it's faux leather. It has the quick release on it. The reason I would choose this one in particular is because it has this snap piece right here. It's from the travel set, so that you can use it to wind up your cords or your headphones. I don't know, I just thought maybe, maybe. I also have this other one that is also an owl. Same, basically, there you go except it's a little larger and it's actually a zipper pouch. So I could use that as a bag charm that's functional, put my chapstick in there for quick access. So I think that has high probability of making the trip. And then I have two others. This one is the letter, the Hogwarts letter, and it has a snap opening and it is a functional envelope. It has two sides to it, so two pockets, if you will, divider in the middle but it's really thin, so not really super functional, so mm, no, let's put it in the box. But this one, this one is also a bag charm slash keychain. I don't really need it as that, but it's the glasses, has the lightning bolt, zipper pull. But this is functional, not only you could use it to hold things, but it will fit sunglasses or glasses. So I'm gonna use this as my sunglasses thing because I can put it on the outside of my bag, quick access, and, and it's, not super rigid, but it'll give some protection to the glasses. So I'm gonna say yes. All right, so this one's a no, we don't need that. I have this Hogwarts pin, it's a, a pin. I don't need a pin though. And then I have all of these. <laughs> this one is Harry Potter and a platform nine and three quarters. This is off my Loungefly mini backpack that I did a video on today for what's in my bag. But I pulled it off to put with the other Harry Potter stuff. Then I have two Pop Funko Pops. I have Hermione and Harry. And these two I'm going to decorate, so I'm gonna make them into bag charms with beads and things on there. They're not gonna go on the trip, I don't think. But I am gonna try and fix them up before I go. Okay. These ones are all hooked together, so I'll go through them last. This one is from Universal, actually. I bought this when I was there a couple years ago, and it's it came like this. It's this plate with Gryffindor, and then it has just a silver thing. And then I added these yellow and red beads. They're glass beads. I sort of made a decorative bag charm out of it, but it's not finished. I need to add some more, I think, to it. But it just gave it a little more character, so I kind of liked that. So that is a maybe. Then I have these two. This is the Gryffindor crest, and this one is the Hogwarts crest. I bought these on Amazon. They are official licensed things. Um, they have the chain, the key ring, and the clip on them. I'm going to decorate this with yellow and red, and I'm gonna decorate this one with all the four house colors. So they'll be decorative before I go. I may or may not make the trip. Then I have this one also from Universal. It's Gryffindor, obviously. It does unsnap, so you can loop it around things and then re-snap it. It has a little Gryffindor thing and a clip on it. Then all the rest of these. Okay, so this is the Hogsmeade. You know, I'm a warthog driver. Warthogs is my airplane. So I'm very partial to boars and hogs and things like that. And yeah, so this is obviously the Hogshead. This is from Universal. It comes with a little tag here. It just says Harry Potter, Wizarding World, etc. But I like this sort of rustic look to them. And I mean, it's hefty chunk of metal. The next one I have is the Butterbeer Stein, <laughs> which I think is adorable. And it is functional, not that you drink just a little swig of it or anything, but there you go, and it matches. So I had all these dangle jangles on my lanyard when I was there. <laughs> it was weighing me down, they're heavy. Um, next one is a golden snitch that I bought on Amazon, which I think someone honestly made it. They just got a golden ball and put two wings on it, and then I added these silver and white things to make it a more decorative bag charm. But it's a golden snitch, pretty simple. This one is a chocolate frog, also from Amazon, um, but then I decorated, I put the gold and blue beads on it to make it a little bit more fun. This one's kind of nifty because it actually opens up and it has a little chocolate frog on a chain inside of it, which I just think is too cute. And it just has a little magnetic closure. Let me just close this back up. Don't come on. So there you go. 
Then I have Hedwig, also from Amazon. This one is like a hard plastic. It's it's not like hard, hard, but it's like a hard, rubbery hard. And it, it's, you know, it's a chunk of plastic. And then I added the Gryffindor colored beads on it just to give it a little bit more color. Yeah. Plus it belongs to Gryffindor. Um, speaking of Gryffindor, there's another version of a Gryffindor crest. This one is from Universal actually. Um, and doesn't have a chain to it, but there you go. The same thing, but this one is the Hogwarts crest. It does have some color in there, but those are all like the polished brass ones I had all hanging together. A lot of dangle jangle. And then I had just the Gryffindor simple cut out. Actually, I really like that. So I did, I had all those polished brass ones on there. So I don't know which one of these are going at this point, but lots to pick from. They're not all gonna make it. Maybe two or three, just because. Otherwise, why have them if you're not gonna use them? All right. Then we need to talk about hand sanitizer because I'm sure it'll be all around the parks, but I wanna have some on my own. Um, I also need chapstick, but I think I could put the chapstick in the owl. So I'm not gonna bring one of these little chapstick things. Hand sanitizer wise, I think the best match would probably be one of these two seashells. They're also pretty robust. They do magnet to each other. But looking at them, oops, it's over here. Everything's buried. Here, we'll use this be quick here. Or we'll use this three in one belt bag thing to look at the color. So yeah, that mint teal one kind of would work, but also the pink one, yeah, maybe. I think I would go with this one, but it is kind of heavy, but you know what? That's okay. We're gonna call that the winner. Okay, but all these other ones can go away. Speaking of platform nine and three quarters, we have the B set, which is the three pouch piece, three, three pieces. It does match perfectly with the backpack. I do have the three in one as another um, organizational piece or it could be also a belt bag, so it gives me another option. Um, you could also wear it crossbody too. Um, or I have the Be Quick as well. So I'm gonna set those aside. You just have so many options. Um, okay, so we have those exact same pieces in Honey Dukes. We have one we haven't seen yet. This one is the Lumos Maximus, or Maxima, Lumos Maxima. So another Harry Potter pattern. Um, I think this one matches pretty decently with the exterior, but I do also have the mini BFF in this, which has different zipper pulls. You have the little sorting hats. This is a great little organizational piece, or it could also be a little backpack, or it could be a crossbody bag or a belt bag. So very versatile little piece, but since I already have the crossbody from Vera, I'm not gonna bring this because that's my wallet slash everything. Carry all, my phone will fit in there, everything. So I'm gonna say no to that for now because I kinda of wanna stick with something that can match both the petite and that and still cross patterns. Too much thinking, I know, but this is a problem. So many choices and we're not even there yet. I do have a mini BRB in the flying keys um, since I already have a wallet wristlet option, I don't really need another one, but I love the idea of it, and I have a 311. Next, we have the quick and the set in the Mischief Managed. So this one has these footprint zipper pulls, which I really like the feel of when you grab them, actually. And then inside, it has the, the map, Marauder's Map, or whatever it's called. So they're just black, kind of boring black. So I'm gonna say no to that too. Oh, and I also have the mini helix in that pattern. Still a no. <laughs> so let's see, we have platform 93 quarters, we have home to Hogwarts, we have herbology, we have flying keys, we have flying keys over here. I'm gonna say no to the roundabout decision made. So this and that and this. Then we have a helix and a BRB and a set piece in the Hogwarts Essentials, which does match the bumpkins bags. 
So let's maybe keep the set out. Yeah. And then we have, last but not least, the cheering charms. We have a set, a BRB, a mini BRB, and a mini BFF. We've already established we're not taking another crossbody. So it's between these. Hmm. So many choices. I think I might just go with this one. Because we have the red and yellow Gryffindor stuff already, this gives us an additional option and probably is a closer match to this than you need to be. But okay, so by crazy logic, some decision has to be made. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so here's what we're gonna take. We're gonna take the petite with the coin purse. One or part of this. I don't know if we're gonna take all of it. I'm gonna take the Harry Potter sunglasses, the owl for chapstick and whatnot. We've got hand sanitizer. I could also perhaps put the hand sanitizer in here, it's just less accessible, but still outside the bag. Um, we've got insulated pouch. We've got these pouches, but even though there's a whole bunch of them, they're very, very thin and very lightweight. Okay, I'm gonna say no to this one. Uh, but we still have all of these pouches that can go in either bag very nicely. We have these bags, the Vera Bradley ones, I think also going to come out because they're just a little bulkier. So we're going to stick to these thin pouches and the set pieces. We've got the wallet and we have an umbrella. So here we go. We put all of this in this backpack. We still have lots and lots of room. Even if I fill them up with stuff, there's plenty of room. Where's the zipper on this thing? All the way down on the side. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put the umbrella on the inside. If I was there, I might put it on the outside. Put my wallet in there, all my pouches, my Percy. All of this can go inside for now. Then on the outside, we have a snack tower in one end. It does fit, it's just a little stiff because it's new. And I don't know, honestly, if this is gonna fit on the outside because it's a little bulkier around. So even with the inside being empty, that's not gonna fit there. So this has to go on the inside, which is fine, but that being the case, where's my umbrella now? Oh my goodness. Here it is. Okay, so then I'll just put the umbrella on the outside. And as you can see, that still matches very nicely with it. I probably will put a carabiner to clip it up here, just so that someone can't just grab it and walk away with it super easy. I don't really anticipate that happening but I don't want to lose my $50 umbrella. That's crazy. I can't believe it cost that much and I paid it, but anyway. Okay, so this bag is now packed, sorta. Of. And that's what we're gonna take, I think. So that brings us to the end of part two of this series. We've now covered the how to get there and back and how to get around stuff, generically speaking. In part three, will be the culmination of all of it. I'm gonna go on my trip after I really pack pack and I'm gonna take everything with me and I'm gonna come back and I'll do an unpacking video with you so if you can see exactly what I ended up bringing, how I used it and how it worked out, you get the full trip report at the end. So thanks for watching, have a great weekend and a wonderful week and I will see you soon. Bye for now.